The New York Giants have been on a serious roller coaster in the last couple years. And it's about time somebody did something about it. I'll be taking over as the New York Giants GM, and this video can't end until I win a Super Bowl. Rebuilding the New York Giants. They're a 79 overall with a 79 offense, an 80 defense, and a very serious quarterback dilemma. You've got Danny Dimes, 72 overall. You've got Tyrod Taylor, 67 overall. You've got Tommy DeVito, who doesn't even have a face scan. That is never a good sign. Now, as much as I'd like Tommy DeVito to be the franchise quarterback here, he's a 25-year-old rookie, so I feel bad for the uh, freshman girls at Illinois, number one, but more importantly, he's a 61 overall normal dev. There's not much I can really do here. So priority number one is finding our franchise quarterback, whether that's through free agency or the draft. I think the brightest spot on this entire team is Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley, man. Honestly, a little bit of talent wasted being here in New York. He was electric coming out of college. He's electric in the NFL, but he doesn't have the team to fully utilize his talent. So my goal is to get Saquon up to a 99 overall and get him that Lombardi. Maybe even get him Super Bowl MVP. He's only 26 years old. He's a superstar X Factor. He's a cap into this squad and we are going to mess with his abilities a little bit abilities do actually matter in franchise even if you're simulating the games so make sure to adjust these if you're struggling jukebox so you don't need jukebox because he's got evasive so tank evasive and i'll give him backfield mismatch offensive line does have some bright spots so andrew thomas 89 overall 24 years old he's gonna be amazing only thing is it's really difficult to get a dev trade upgrade on an old lineman it's almost impossible so he'll probably just be star this entire time evan Neal. So Evan Neal does not have a great overall. And quite frankly, I don't know the future of Evan Neal in real life, but the good thing is in Madden, he's 22 in star dev. So he will be a franchise right tackle on this team. And then our center is John Michael Schmidt. That is not the name of a man I picture in the NFL, but hey, he's 68 overall. He's a rookie. He's hidden dev. So he will be on this roster for a long time as well. The really the only thing we got to worry about is our guards. Uh, Pooh and Glowinski are not it. I think we should look for somebody in the draft or free agency. Oftentimes our good guards and free agency so we'll take a peek Darren Waller I love Darren Waller definitely want to utilize him and then wide receivers you know it's funny people always shit on the Giants wide receivers I actually think the Giants have really good wide receivers they're just not used well like I love Darius Slayton I love Sterling Shepard not the biggest Paris Campbell fan but Wandale Robinson Isaiah Hodgins like these are good wide receivers even Jalen Hyatt is kind of a dog they're just not used well on this team in real life personally I have a lot of faith in Isaiah Hodgins so I'm actually going to move him up to wide receiver one. Wide receiver two is going to be Darius Slayton. Wide receiver three, Paris Campbell. And wide receiver four can be Sterling Shepard. Defensively, things could be worse too. Xavier McKinney, love him. Pinnock is probably not the future at our strong safety spot, but we'll see. Love Deontay Banks, hidden dev rookie. Adore Jackson is nice. He's 27 years old. He's not going to turn into a freak show or anything, but he'll be a really solid corner for us. I think we do need a third corner. Flot is not going to cut it. Our edge rushers are pitiful. Granted, we are in a 3-4 scheme, so we have four linebackers, and that's where we're trying to get our pressure from is Kayvon Thibodeau and his Zizo Jalari, Dexter Lawrence in the middle, obviously incredible. But dude, we've got a 68 and a 74 as my starting right and left end. I get that we're in a 3-4, but that's still pitiful. And right now, Thibodeau's not going to get home too much. He's only a 79 overall. He doesn't have any abilities yet. Uh, Simmons and Okarike, love them both. And then, what do we think about Aziz Ojalari? Ojalari is a speed rusher. He's 23 years old. I'm hoping he can generate some pressure. 86 speed, 93 excited. I'd love to see him develop well. That would be really nice. Now, this team is not great, but it is very young. We have young wide receivers. We've got a young offensive line. We just need a young, really good quarterback, and it shouldn't be too difficult to turn this team around. All right, gentlemen, season one. Let's see how this goes. 7-10 and 10 with 72 overall Danny Dimes at quarterback. I'm actually pretty geeked up about that. We also have 47 mil in cap space, so we're chilling. All right, free agency. Tyron Smith is available. He wants a bag, and I'm not willing to give it to him. Dude, I actually really like Bryce Huff. He wants 12 mil a year. He's 26 years old. He's an 80 overall. It's low key is a nice signing, potentially. I'm going to give him a player friendly offer. We'll see if he comes to New York. I don't have a ton of cap, but I think we could get him. Hey, Bryce Huff is a New York Giant. I'm actually really excited about that. I like Bryce Huff a lot. 80 overall speed rusher. Keep in mind, we are in a 3 4, but that doesn't completely make this position irrelevant. I think Thibodeau will be my rush left end, and Huff will be my rush right end. It's a good free agent signing, but we, don't, we do not have a lot of cap after that move right there. There's 6 mil in space, and the draft is coming up. And 
And before I forget, we got to check stats around the league. Danny Dimes had 3,900 passing yards. On a 22 for 10. Not a very good stat line, but, you know, at least he got some good passing yards. Saquon had an amazing season. Uh, 1,319 touchdowns, but he did have two fumbles. 53 broken tackles is crazy. Nice work. I said Hodgins is going to have a good season, and he did. 1,076 and 10. We got 1,004 touchdowns out of Waller and kind of evenly distributed the ball to everyone else. Dar Saquon Barkley, actually, my fourth leading receiver over Slayton and Wandale Robinson. Defensively, Isaiah Simmons had our most tackles, seven TFLs, one and a half sacks. Good season for him. Bobby Okarike, or Okarike, I don't remember, but it's three interceptions. Jason Pinnock has three interceptions. Maybe I was wrong about him. Nine and a half sacks out of Dexter Lawrence, five out of Ojolari, five out of Kayvon Thibodeau. Honestly, that's a very solid first season. I didn't expect 7 and 10. Uh, so I'm happy. I'm just gonna go straight into the draft. We have round one pick 10. Now let's see. Do we want to... Ooh. Ooh. All right. So Eric Green, we did scout him and he's actually a round 2-3 talent. My only concern is he might get taken by then. Is he good enough to get drafted here? Yo, this is a weird player. Elite strength, elite throw power, poor speed, poor acceleration. I can't tell if he's really good or really bad. A under pressure, A break sack, A deep accuracy, B medium, B sh dude, this might be the guy. This might be the guy I was looking for. 6-4 strong arm. I just don't like that he's a round 2-3 talent. I'm hoping what that's gonna mean is that he's a low overall, but still hidden depth. That's my hope. If he is, this will be a good guy for us here. All right, Eric Green, are you the future of New York. I should have known, bro. I literally 100% scouted him and it said round two, three talent. He does have 95 throw power, which is actually disgusting. His overall is going to be solid, I think. Him not being hidden dev is an issue. There's a decent guard here in the second round, Mark Pierman. He's got decent stats and decent physicals. I don't know if he'd be hidden dev. I think I'd be reaching a little bit if I took him right now. I still got to look at everybody else. Ooh, there's a monster here, though. This is a lot further down, but he has elite strength, great speed. He's a power Power center, Chester Hunt, with a lot of A's. I'm hoping Chester Hunt's a hidden dev. All right, we were a little weak before, but I'm going to move Chester Hunt to uh, right or left guard, and uh, that'll shore up that issue. Devin Vick, right tackle. Whoa, great speed, elite agility, elite change of direction. This might be another hidden dev. Could pick him up in the third round. That would be amazing. Devin Vick, hidden dev, right tackle. Who's going to get moved to guard? He looks like a fucking savage. Dude, my entire offensive line is young developing players. That is amazing. Build the offensive line first. That's what they say anyway. All right, round four pick then. So two hidden dev offensive linemen. I'm probably just going to take the best player available here. Benjamin McLeod, vertical threat tight end out of Stanford. Looks halfway decent. Was kind of just hail marrying on the hidden dev there. He doesn't take it. And I'm going to let the CPU clean up the rest of this draft for me. Year one draft recap. What do you got for me, baby? Ooh, shit. Yo, that's one of the highest overall offensive linemen I've actually ever drafted. Chester Hunt, second round pick. I mean, does it clear my first round pick? Not really. Eric Green's a 74 overall. He is going to be our new quarterback for sure. He is slow. 70 speed. His accuracies are good though. He's 23 years old. I got to throw Eric Green in there out of Syracuse. Devin Vick, best player in the class. It's all corners. Holy shit. Four insane corners. McCray, Colbert, Bell, and Jeffrey. Deontay Baker out of UCLA is an 80 overall. Best quarterback was Spencer Ramsey. Round one, pick eight. So he got taken before our guy came up. But look at this. Tom Boyce, QB out of Alabama, was honestly a lot better than Eric Green. He's hidden dev too. Tom Boyce. Wow, he's a dog. Damn, I whiffed there. There was a hidden dev quarterback available. And I missed him. So Danny Dimes is still normal dev. He's the same overall as Eric Green, but Eric Green is four years younger. I got to go with Eric Green. We've got to adjust Devin Vick and make him a right guard. He actually is two overall higher at right guard. And John Michael Schmitz is now a 75 overall. Let's move him to left guard. We actually have an insanely good offensive line. If nothing, you know, we did whiff on our quarterback, but look at this offensive line. I rarely have an O-line this good. 90, 75, 79, 74, 75. Yes, the literal numbers aren't big, but they're only gonna get bigger every single year since all of these guys are 25 years old or younger that's awesome waller's regressing so we're gonna need a tight end replacement eventually for right now it's really about getting eric green a really good season potentially offensive rookie of the year getting him the dev trade upgrade and just getting him ready to lead this team to a super bowl defensively xavier mckinney with the dev trade upgrade and then of course our signing of bryce huff looks like the cpu picked up 
Rashawn Mills, who's a 66 overall, but a hidden dev. Interesting. Jason Pinnock also got a dev trade upgrade. Maybe I was wrong about him. All right, season two, Eric Green. I don't know if Eric Green doesn't pan out. We may end up like the Cleveland Browns, just bouncing quarterback to quarterback to quarterback. But I don't know. I feel like with the weapons he has, Saquon Barkley, excellent offensive line, Darren Waller, all those wide receivers, he could definitely put up an offensive rookie of the year campaign right here. All right, we end this season five and 12. We did just throw a rookie quarterback in the mix. But honestly, I, I did expect him to do a little better than this. Take a look around the league. Eric Green. Damn. He still lit it up. I mean, we were probably losing every game, so he's passing a lot. Dude, he actually, he did play better than Danny Dime. More passing yards and a better touchdown interception ratio. He really was better. Honestly, that QBR is not bad for a rookie at all. Saquon, 1,219. Darren Waller's our leading receiver. Then it's Paris Campbell, Wandale Robinson, Isaiah Hodgins. Isaiah Hodgins taking a big step back this season. With Eric Green behind there, Wando Robinson must have been my slot wide receiver. I don't remember switching that, so I don't know why that got switched, but it's all good. Dude, Isaiah Simmons is due for a dev trade upgrade. 134 tackles, 10 TFLs, two and a half sacks, an interception, two force. Dude, he's balling. Two forced fumbles, a fumble recovery. Looks like we distributed a lot of interceptions this season. Two for Deontay Banks. Love to see that. Okarike, Pinnock, Adoree Jackson, Xavier McKinney. Six and a half out of Lawrence. Four out of Thibodeau. Three and a half out of Bryce Huff. Two and a half Isaiah Simmons. Ojulari only got home one time. So defensively, we're much weaker this season than previous seasons. Eric Green, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Second was Jason Kane, and then it was Tom Boyce. You know, I was trying to trade for Tom Boyce, but we didn't have the cap space for it. He got third anyway. Eric Green season. We're going to have a really good draft pick coming up too, going 5-12. and 12. All right, so we have round one pick five in this draft. The mock has us taking Devin Weldon. Speed rusher left end out of USF. Doesn't make a lot of sense for our team to take him, but if he's a freak show feel like we probably should. See, Taylor Moreno is someone I'm kind of more looking at since we're running a 3-4. He's a power rusher out of UCF. Right-handed, 22-6-5. His physicals aren't that impressive, though. I definitely want some elites in there if I'm going to use such a high pick. Okay, Devin Wilden, I almost, if he's fast enough, I could move him to linebacker. If he's got like 78 speed, there's no way. But if he's got like 85, I could just make him a linebacker, just like Kayvon Thibodeau. The Giants drafted Kayvon Thibodeau technically as a down lineman, but he's also technically a linebacker. Oh, shit. Devin Wilden, hidden dev, 87 speed. He might as well be a linebacker. This is like my little TJ Watt right here. Dude, let's go. All right, our next pick is round two, pick five. Here's Jadarius Harris out of Oklahoma, man-to-man -man corner. He's 6'2". Great excel, great speed, great jumping. I like him. A hit power, B zone. Hoping this can be a hidden dev corner. He's actually a dog, dude. 94 speed, 92 excel, and he's 6'2". Hidden dev, Jadarius Harris, good. My corners are not too spectacular on this team, so added a corner, added a really good edge rusher for sure. We got round three, pick five. This has been a very good draft so far. Let's keep it strong. Now, we kind of do need a Darren Waller replacement. Here is Cole Hearns with great speed, great agility. I'm actually going to take him just because he's fast. I don't think he's hidden dev. But yeah, I like this. Waller is literally regressing. He was 86 overall last season. He's 84 right now. So let's just get somebody who can play there. I'm going to let the CPU take care of the rest of this. Solid draft. We got a normal dev tight end, a hidden dev left end, and a hidden dev corner. So I'm happy about this draft right now. All right, draft recap. Hey, hey. I mean, it's round one, pick five. I expect this stuff, but 78 overall. Devin Weldon, speed rusher with 87 speed is crazy. Jadarius Harris is 75 and 94 speed. Really, really strong draft here. Hearns was a whiff. Total whiff there, 66 overall. Uh, and then Jared Charlton, 71 overall, left outside linebacker. Hidden Dev out of Florida. Great work by the CPU. The rest are 60s. Take a look around the entire league. Oh, shit. 84 left guard, 83 left guard. 81 left tackle, 81 quarterback. I swear I have it on normal draft class strength on everything, but this does not look right. This is way too strong of a class. So Devin Weldon was the one, two, three, four, five, six best player in the class. I guess this is round one, pick one, round one, pick three, round pick four. But dude, these guys are juiced. This is not normal. That is actually insane. That shouldn't even be possible. I do this so often, but I'm switching to a 4-3. I literally just think 4-3s are better. I think it's probably a better scheme fit for this team anyway. Yeah, it actually is. We're actually really good with a 4-6. No, I'm going to stay in the 3-4 under. Fine. I'll stay in the 3-4 under. Whatever.
So Saquon's a 97. Eric Green got a dev trade upgrade. Waller went to superstar. My offensive line looks spectacular. All right, there's a few good things we have going for us right now. Right now, our draft picks are worth a lot because we just had round one pick five. Despite that, I think we're going to have a really good season. So I want to trade my round one draft pick since it has so much value. And I think I need to trade Aziz Ojolari. So... Aziz Ojolari is great. I love him, but we just drafted Weldon, who's going to do his job better. So I feel like packaging these two together, we could probably get an awesome wide receiver. And that's what I'm looking for right now. We just don't have a true star number one wide receiver. And I want to pick somebody up. Jamar Chase would be pretty cool. I want to get a wide receiver I have never gotten before. Dude, Eric Farrell, Cleveland Browns auto-generated rookie is 22, 81 overall, three years left. Definitely could be a monster. Or do I pick up a guy who's already in the league like Rishi Rice? Honestly, I want Jaden Reed, but I don't even think I need to give up a first round pick for Jaden Reed. What about just my really high second round pick for Jaden Reed? Okay, they told me to get fucked. Third, fourth, fifth. Two, three, four, five. We're very close here. Two second rounders and a third rounder lands us 86 overall Jaden Reed. Should I make the joke? I make it every time. No, I'm not gonna make the joke. You know what I'm talking about though, if you know me. 86 overall Jaden Reed, 25 years old, and we retain our first round pick. I think we just keep the first round pick and we use it. So the wide receiver core now is Jaden Reed, Wandale Robinson, and Jalen Hyatt. I'm going to make sure that Jaden Reed is my slot wide receiver. Want him getting crazy good reps here. Uh, I think he's going to be a 90 overall and potentially a superstar at the end of the season if we play this right. I want to make one more big trade though because I didn't trade Aziz Ojolari. Who needs a left outside linebacker and has some cap space? Cowboys desperately need one. You think the Cowboys would take Ojolari and a first rounder for Trayvon Diggs? No, let's go for Darren Bland because he's a little younger. Would they do this? What about just for the round one? We're actually really... Oh my God, this is going to go through. Aziz Ojolari and my round one pick five, technically, for Darren Bland. Yo, big moves, big moves. Dude, so now we got Darren Bland, superstar, Deontay Banks, and then Jadarius Harris, the rookie we just drafted. This is awesome. All right, we are set up for an amazing season. Year three, let's see it. Ooh! See, this is why trading those round one picks early when they have a lot of value is awesome. Because we just went 10 and 7. We actually made the wild card. And now, obviously, my picks are, are worth a lot less. Where did we land, Mr. Eric Green? Fourth in the NFL in passing yards. 38 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. A lot of interceptions. Though. 38 and 16 is not the best. But, hey, he's still improving. Saquon's uh, most rushing yards on a season. 1343 so far. 15 touchdowns on the ground. Jaden Reed. Oh, that's got to be right. That's got to be a dev trade upgrade. 1,216 touchdowns. Waller still had another great season. Hyatt and Wandale cleaning up down here in Barkley. Four touchdowns through the air. Not bad. Defensively, it's the Isaiah Simmons show, man. I can't believe he's not getting dev trade upgrades. Like, honestly. Two and a half sacks. Okereke, okay, okay, 108. We had four interceptions out of Darren Bland. Yes, that was such a good trade. Dane Belton got three. Three for Deontay Banks. Three for Xavier McKinney. Eight and a half sacks out of Huff. Seven and a half Thibodeau. Six and a half Dexter Lawrence. And our rookie, Devin Weldon, got five sacks, 74 tackles, and 16 TFLs. Good season for him. I don't think it's defensive rookie of the year, but it's a good season. Do I get my depth trade upgrades now, or would it be after the season? I think it's after the season. Saquon's now a 99. Eric Green's an 83. Reed is a 91. Love that. And then defensively, ooh, ooh. Okay, a whole lot happened here. Hold up. Let me digest this. Devin Weldon was drafted a superstar, so that's awesome. If he got defensive rookie of the year, he'd go X-Factor, but he didn't get it. That's amazing. Charlton right now is 74. Dane Belton. I did not realize this, but Jason Pinnock left in free agency. I was going a little too fast there. I apologize, boys. Now, our corners look insane. Deontay Banks, Darren Bland, and then Harris ended up being a star dev. Uh, Dexter Lawrence regressed to superstar. Bryce Huff still looking really good. O'Carrick and Simmons are holding it down. Xavier McKillen looks amazing. So we actually, like, in this upcoming draft, we should be looking at a strong safety. Except I have no draft picks. So maybe the next draft, or maybe Dane Belton's just our guy. Alright. Giants at Seahawks. I'm gonna sim this one. I don't think it's worth checking in unless we win. Got smacked on. 49 to 28. Hey, it's our first playoff appearance. I didn't really expect to go playoffs third year. So I'm excited about it. Got 15 mil in cap. We could potentially sign a strong safety in free agency. That would be awesome. Then we don't have to rock Dane Belton. Dude, we're actually in cap hell. I'm negative six million cap space. I can't sign a damn player. I literally don't have any draft picks. Damn. Well, okay. We sold out. We're still developing. We're 10 and seven, but I can't sign free agents. I have no draft picks. And we did all that for Jaden Reed and Darren Bland. We're going to see if that paid off or not. All right. Draft recap. CPU got me a bunch of homeless people. Cool. Uh, Let's take a look around the entire NFL. Best player 
in the class was an 80 overall wide receiver, Terrence Kent. And this looks a lot more accurate to a normal draft class. I have no idea what happened last class. Either we got astronomically lucky or... I encountered a bug that I've never seen before, but this looks a lot more normal. Hey, there's our depth trade upgrade. So Waller regressed as we kind of expected. He's been on that trend, but Reed gets superstar. Eric Green gets superstar. That's amazing. So Jaden Reed, this is exactly why we traded for Jaden Reed. We knew he was going to be a monster. We wanted to get him good reps as soon as we could. Give him wide receiver apprentice mid in elite and actually I'll go route apprentice. Short and elite, mid and elite. Defensively, Lawrence gets his X-Factor back. McKinney goes X-Factor. And interestingly enough, the game has actually put our drafted corner to strong safety, but he looks like he's really good there. So maybe we don't need a strong safety. I can't believe Isaiah Simmons has not gotten a dev trade upgrade, but whatever. Weldon's gonna go off. Huff. It, this is basically the exact same thing as last season, except we have significantly higher overalls, a lot more abilities. I expect us to go better than 10 and 7. This should be a really good season for us. Oh my god. Dude, I got to this screen and I thought, oh my god, we missed the wild card. I don't have a wild card game. No! Nope. We went 14 and 3. We dominated so hard that we got a buy. Are we maybe getting an MVP season on Eric Green. Fourth in the NFL again, 33 and eight. Huge improvements. Definitely not an MVP season though. Saquon's most monstrous season, 1619. Telling you, man, that O-line is developing. Love that O-line. Jaden Reed, 1404 and 15. Seven touchdowns out of Jalen Hyatt, four and four for Waller Hodgins, respectively. Oh, Kerry K, 115. Isaiah Simmons, 115. He had a big season, three sacks, two interceptions, a forced fumble. Nice work. Not a lot of interceptions out of the boys today, though. Darren Bland got two. Then sacks, we had nine out of D-Law, six out of Thibodeau, six out of Weldon, three out of Bryce Huff. Bryce Huff ended up being not nearly as impactful as I hoped he would be, but once again, he was just a free agent signing. I definitely could have gone without that free agent signing, though, because I am in cap hell. We're still negative seven mil in cap space, so I can't make big moves. We are 14 and three, so does it really matter? That's that's the real question. Let's head to the divisional. Now, I want to get, no matter who we play here, I want to get some reps in. It's going to be the nine and eight Atlanta Falcons. I take it back. I'm going to sim this one. Falcons are no fun to play. The Falcons always end up doing pretty well in sim. I imagine we beat them though here and we might end up taking on the Dallas Cowboys. That's who I expect to see here. Ooh, we beat the Falcons. We're taking on the Rams. All right, let's do this. I'm going to play a few drives with this squad. Um, Our top three is Dexter Lawrence, Saquon Barkley, and Xavier McKinney now a superstar X-Factor. They've got Puka X-Factor, Aaron Donald X-Factor, and Matt Jeffrey reinforcement X-Factor corner. Added to MetLife stadium baby they're coming to us for the conference championship who's their quarterback that is not stafford they drafted a new quarterback we got eric green baby we got saquon barkley i actually really like this giants team because we got a lot of the old and a lot of the new like the core wide receivers but we added Jaden reed still got saquon of course we got the core tackles but we added a lot of guards all right boys yeah we still got darren waller too first and ten our first play might just be a bomb to Jaden reed oh Good defense. Good defense. All right, let's hand this puppy off to Saquads. Second 10. Good handoff. Nice broken tackle. They get third and seven. That's manageable, right? Hoping this is man coverage so Jaden Reed can go ahead and get open. It's not man coverage. I'm going Saquon. You got to make a move, though, Saquon. Fourth and eight. Nice defense. I was hoping we could break that tackle in the open field. Well, come out here in defense now. Dexter Lawrence, Weldon, and Thibodeau. Yeah, we should be getting a lot of pressure. They still got Kyron Williams, but the rest of the squad's a little different. Who is that quarterback? Izzo? Is that Tom Izzo's kid? <laughs> All right, cover four drop. I'm going to go on Xavier McKinney here just in case the handoff. No. Got a pass here. Goes to the boundary. Tackled third and inches. What do they come out in here? Kind of expect a pass. Not going to lie. Oh, it is a handoff. Xavier McKinney, we're there. Oh, Kyron squeezes his way through first and goal. Dude, I feel like I failed my squad. Let's see if we can stop this. First and goal. It's going to be an outside handoff. It is so bottled. Let's go. McKinney and Bland combined for a nice tackle right there. Second and goal. A play action this time. I think I got that, Xavier McKinney! Oh, I should have stayed in the end zone. We just baited Izzo. We left it open for a second. Xavier McKinney came back across and lurked it. That's a huge play right there. Giants get their first touchdown. We stopped the Rams, and I'm back out on offense. This will be my last input on this game. I want to let the Sim take over after this. I kind of want to get Jaden Reed going, you know? Ooh, damn. Lots of pressure there. It's only my second completed pass. Damn, that was fourth and five, so actually I don't get to take over. I do want to play a little offense. I'm really struggling against this all-Madden defense, though. They're killing me. All right, we're going to hand this one off to Saquon. 
and just try and get out of the danger zone. Nice move, Saquon. Take three. Six rushes, 123 yards, and a touchdown for Saquon Barkley. Oh, my God. So that's how we scored off of a big Saquon run. Get to the edge, Saquon. Do it again, right? First and 10. Beautiful. Hey, it's a two-minute drill, though. We need some tempo here. We got two timeouts. All right, first and 10. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I see Jaden Reed. Can we get out of bounds? Get some yards and get out of bounds. Beautiful. You know what? We're impacting too much on this game. Let's see if the boys can put up a score here. Eric Green, first and 10, finds Jaden Reed. Who else? Still 7-0. to zero. Now 7-3, to 7-14. to 14. Fourth and inches. Wait a minute. We're trying to put up more points. 14-3. to three. We're trying to put this game away. Hand it off. Hand it off. Saquon, you tell me. You better get that. Victory formation. The Giants will win the NFC Championship 14-3 against the Rams. Eric Green's going to the Super Bowl, baby. I told you what, though. I said I wanted a Saquon Barkley Super Bowl MVP. Let's see if it pans out that way. Second and goal. What do we got here? It's a handoff, Saquon. This is not the Super Bowl, but wow, Saquon would be getting MVP of this game. He's got like 150 yards and two touchdowns on the ground. Jamie Izzo put up a good fight, but it just wasn't enough. It's actually one of the craziest running back games I've ever seen. 17, 175, two touchdowns. 98-yard rush. Chester Hunt's about to be an 89 overall. What a good draft pick. And the Super Bowl is against none other than... Could you have guessed it, you guys? Could you have guessed who it's against? The Kansas City Chiefs. Here we go. They're 12-5. and five. We're 14-3. and three. They've We've got a 91 overall we've got a 91 overall big game big game big game all right i want to play a few moments here they got mahomes chris jones pacheco somewhere in an alternate universe allegiant stadium is hosting the new york giants versus the kansas city chiefs here we go eric green xavier mckinney saquon barkley Jaden reed darren bland the giants are ready baby all right all i'm gonna do is run coaches number one suggested play no audibles i'm just gonna run it stock we just got to make something out of nothing. There it is, baby. Isaiah Hodgins, I see you. I've always had faith in Isaiah Hodgins all season. Next play is PA cross sit. All right, coach. I like this. Jaden Reed is next factor, by the way. I just noticed that. All right. I like that sit down route. Jalen Hyatt with the box out. will take nine yards. Next up. Wow, coach, you're not very creative. He wants the exact same play. Coach, I don't know if they're going to bite on play action twice in a row, but you know what? That's why you're the coach and I'm not. And what do you know? Oh, Eric Green? Eric Green, is that you whiffing an easy throw? Coach wants gun spacing. Just pick up the easy yards. And look at that. That one is too easy. Dude, broken up. What are we doing? Coach wants to go for it. Fullback dive to Cole Hearns. Out of strong jumbo. Are you sure, coach? They have Chris Jones. Fourth and one. There goes Cole Hearns. He got it. Wow, what a play. Coach wants gun shallow cross. All right. There's Jalen Hyatt clearing just behind Willie Gay. Not bad. Gun slants, coach says. All right, coach. All right, Brian Dabble. I won't argue with you. I do see Jaden Reed, who's not going to drop that pass. First and 10. Gun Z spot. Dabble wants the touchdown, and he wants it right now. All right, let's find out. Pocket collapsed. I didn't see anybody open. Second and 17. We've got some yards to pick up here. Coach says post wheel shallow. This is a weird play, but I like it. Dude, somebody, Andrew Thomas, you're a 90 overall. How are you getting bodied like that? Uh-oh, gun dagger, it's third and 25. We need a huge pickup now. There's Jaden Reed. Pass is swatted away, and we're going to have to settle for a field goal here. 51-yarder for Brandon McManus. Shouldn't be too tough for him. He's going to drill it. All right, three to zero. Here we go. First and 10, they got me on defense here. I've got everything covered, but Mahomes takes off. Oh my God, he almost got it, but he didn't get it. Okay, goal line run. Everybody's got to go. Left side, right side, middle, what is it? Right up the middle, it's so bottled. They lose three yards on the goal line. Huge play from Kayvon Thibodeau. This is massive. Definitely could stop them now. Second and goal, what's the play? It's a pass. It's a check down to Pacheco who breaks one tackle. Almost broke another, but the pursuit got to him. Third and goal, they lose another two yards. Once again, it's Kayvon Thibodeau on the tackle. We know they're passing. Just cover, dude. 
How do we just leave a wide open slam on that? What a bummer. It's seven to three. We're back on offense. This will be my last play right here. I'm gonna hand this puppy off to Saquon. See if he can punch it in. I hate you, Chris Jones. I hate you. All right, that's as much as I can do. I gotta watch the boys. I gotta let them execute on their own. Down by four to the Chiefs. They do get the touchdown. It is 10 to seven. Now 10 to 10. Now 10 to 13. Now 20 to 10. Now 20 to 17. A lot of punting right now. Down by three. Start of the fourth quarter but we're in the red zone. Can we pull this off right here? Check down goes nowhere. Second and 10, empty backfield. I like that. I like an aggressive empty backfield. And I love a... Oh my God, that's a safety if you tackle him. Interception, Eric Green. I don't love that. I don't love that at all. Hey, we stopped him and scored. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 24 to 20. It's about to be the two minute warning. They have one timeout left. Dude, sometimes you just go to sim like a little bit and so much happens. Wait a minute though. If they stop us here and we only get a field goal, they can still tie this up. This is huge. We get this first down. It's, it's over. We win the Super Bowl. Got him! Is that Isaiah Hodgins? Victory formation! All right, I can't sim through this because the game will fuck up and then they'll turn the ball over. So I just got to let them do this. Oh my God, Eric Green in his third year, fourth year of the rebuild. It's the fourth year? Yeah, we're going to win a Super Bowl. We went 7 and 10, 5 and 12, 10 and 7, 14 and 3. And the final play of the Super Bowl! This is how it should have been for the Niners, by the way. This is exactly how it should have been. They should have converted. They should have kneeled it. Then they should have kicked a field goal and won it. But whatever. And we're going to kick a field goal just as a big fuck you to all Taylor Swift fans. We're going to put three points up when we absolutely do not need them. 27 to 20. Cover the spread. Minus six and a half. There we go. The New York Giants are Super Bowl champions. Now, I will say I wanted Saquon Barkley to be Super Bowl MVP. So let's see who gets crowned Super Bowl MVP. Shout out to so many players who played their hearts out over these four seasons. Barkley, Xavier McKinney was a sleeper. The trade for Darren Bland and Jaden Reed. The draft picks, that offensive line, Devin Vick, Chester Hunt. Here comes that Lombardi. You know, I love to see that, baby. I can't believe we beat him. When Eric Green threw that interception, I thought we were cooked. And there he is holding it up. That might mean he's Super Bowl MVP low-key. Eric Green, the young goat, Eric Green. Great work, buddy. Right, let's take a look at the stats out of this game. Oh, it's definitely Eric Green. Holy shit. Honestly, the whole, only mistake he made the entire game was that one interception. Almost 300 yards, three passing touchdowns. Barkley was very effective on the ground, but not as effective as Pacheco. Seven for 84 and a touchdown. Uh, Waller, very big part of this offense, and so is Isaiah Hodgins. I love to see that. In fact, Jaden Reed, our, our star, really didn't do too much. Saquon was good on the ground, too, with a touchdown. And defensively, who is our who is our biggest baller? Kayvon Thibodeau, one and a half sacks. Love that. True giant. Dexter Lawrence got home once. Devin Weldon, the draft pick, got home once. And then Derek Barrett with that one interception. Great game. Ooh, what an awesome Super Bowl. Well, here is your Super Bowl lineup. 99 X-Factor Jaden Reed, 99 Barkley, 90 Eric Green. Honestly, this is a very... And, and I think Darren Waller must have literally just retired. Like, literally retired after the Super Bowl because he's gone now. But this is your Super Bowl team. Beautiful offensive line. I think that had a really big part in this, was having such a good offensive line. And then, obviously, you know, we did have a monster defense. Weldon got X-Factor. McKinney got X-Factor. Bland, that trade was huge. Deontay Banks. Harris, we drafted. Drafted Thibodeau, O'Karek, Isaiah Simmons, Bryce Huff, D-Law. Amazing season. All right, boys. After I win the Super Bowl, I like to sim one season on full autopilot. So we're just going to see if this team could potentially go back-to-back -back without any of my input. Let's find out. So start of year five, we have no tight end at all. So it doesn't look like we drafted one. Um, Jaden, Saquon, Green. And then defensively, it looks like we retained all of our players for the most part. Yeah, we did. We retained almost... No, we retained everybody. Nice. So very similar team we just don't have Darren Waller anymore. Super Bowl 62, deja vu. It's Cowboys Chiefs. We went 12 and five though. So we must've done something. Damn, we actually lose in the very first round to the Cowboys. Cowboys were a six seed. They're a very strong six seed because they went on to go all the way to the Super Bowl. Hey, let's take a look at the league history though before we hop out of here. So in our inaugural season, guess what? It was Chiefs Cowboys and the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Tank Dell wins offensive rookie of the year. Defensive rookie of the year is Jair Brown. In 24, it's literally a rematch of Cowboys Chiefs but this time, the Cowboys win it. In 25, it is Chiefs Seahawks. Isaiah Pacheco wins Super Bowl MVP. And in 26, our season, we beat the, can dude, the Kansas City Chiefs. This is fucked up. They went to Super Bowl every single year since 2022. They went here. They went here. They went here. They went here. Dude, get the fuck out of here. That's 
that's actually insane. I've never seen that. I know that like the Chiefs are a powerhouse or whatever, but that's crazy. And in this season, Brian Dabble did win Coach of the Year and Super Bowl MVP was Eric Green. For shits and gigs, I want to see if they win the Super Bowl. I'm Honestly, at this point, I just want the Cowboys to win it, right? And the Chiefs won. That's just crazy. Well, you know what? We did a really good job of putting this team in the position that it needed to be. We got our Super Bowl, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I love y'all. I'll see you guys in the next rebuild. Peace.